Hi guys, welcome to Chuck's Corner. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> We're gonna have a blast today. I see it's snowing outside. It's so nice to be in a warm place. I got my cup of coffee. Mm. And you know what? I'm gonna talk about movie magic. All right, now normally I don't talk about movies. Joe Pavlensky does, but I'm gonna overstep my bounds a little bit here. We're gonna talk about movies that you can create magic around. And I've done it numerous times throughout the years. Uh, Today we're going to talk about a classic, which is 14 Ghosts. Let me show you this thing here. 14 Ghosts. Uh, normally it's called 13 Ghosts. I think we picked up a ghost along the way. All right. Oh, here it goes. Eddie Guevara's You Control Life Size Ghost. Yeah, so we got 14 now. Also, I don't want to infringe on copyright material. All right. <laughs> but this movie was made in 1960. So if you folks out there in podcast land or on the internet land want to see a cool, cool movie watch this it's black and white and uh margaret hamilton was one of the main characters in here she she was one of the main actresses i should say <clears throat> like joe and me talked about they kind of paid homage to her they mentioned uh the wizard of oz they alluded to it a few times so it was so it was kind of neat uh the guy who directed this is william castle all right and he had what boils down to is a viewfinder it was more or less a uh, three deep set of glasses that you would you would get prior to walking into the theater, and if you want to see the ghosts on screen, you look through one section. If you if you get too nervous or upset, you don't want to watch it. You look through the other section. That's when the magic happened when you look through the viewfinders. Now this came with this <clears throat> inside this strange box that I found. This came with this is boils down to my viewfinder. It's a pair of glasses, all right, and these things are. Man, I mean, these are some thick, thick glasses here. All right, but <laughs> we'll get back to that in a minute. All right, <clears throat> let me put this down here. Inside of the box, we have an old playing card here. And it kind of fits in that little top hat perfectly. But we're going to fold this in half. All right. And we're going to make some magic here. Let me put my glasses on because that's when the... That's when the magic happens. Whew, and I can hardly see anything here. But we're just gonna get this card and look at this. It stays suspended. If I pass my hand over it, it rises. Look at that. Look, I could stand back and it's still floating. Look at that. We're gonna take it, show it's completely normal. All right, and we're gonna just more or less hang it into midair. Wow, it even wants to jump. Can you see that? Watch. Look at this. All right, we're gonna take it off. So that's the first thing. Now if you take off the goggles, the glasses, it really doesn't do anything. So that's when the magic happens. All right, now let me see what else we have here. Uh, oh, here's something kind of, an old cigarette. Yuck. This thing is probably 50 years old. We're gonna lay it right here and we're gonna see what happens when I put the goggles on? Let's see if we can get the ghost to take a puff. Let's see what happens here. Concentrate if you would. All right. Oh, look at that. He's puffing away. Wow. All right, that's enough. This stuff causes cancer. All right, now we're gonna lay the same cigarette right over here and we'll see what happens. Watch, concentrate. Whoa, whoa, what the heck? Oh my goodness, kind of burned my glasses a little bit on that one. All right, <laughs> let me reach inside, see what else we have here. Oh, this is kind of cool. Not really sure what it does. Looks like a cube and just a chamber for it. Now I have my glasses on. Let's see what happens here. Because if I blow on it, watch, the cube magically floats. Whoa, all the way to the top. No strings, no wires. We blow it again. Look at this. It goes back down. Pretty cool indeed. And the other thing I wanted to mention is there was a newer version of this movie you really have to check out. It was with Tony Shalhoub, uh, the guy that played Monk. And it was very, very neat. Now, that was about 40 years later. And a big difference in this 40 year span, uh, the, the uh, technology was much improved. I mean, it was unbelievable, the stuff they did. But this is uh, 14 ghosts that I created, and I'm paying homage 
to that wonderful movie. Like I said, if you have a chance, check it out. And we're going to go on to another movie now if I can. Let's make some room here. Put this down here. Hope you folks are having fun on this cold day. It's it's uh, pretty cold here in Pittsburgh, I'll tell you that. Let me get rid of this cup of coffee here. All right. The other movie I wanted to talk to you about, which I have some notes down here, happens to be Houdini. <laughs> One of my favorites. I mean, this is a really cool movie. This is the original. Uh, 1953. This is with Tony Curtis and Janet Lee. All right. This is really what kind of inspired me to get into magic. I mean... I was amazed when I seen this movie many years ago. I was a kid. And uh, you know what? They uh, did a good job. Uh, the mentalist uh, uh, Dunninger, he was the consultant on here. Now, some things weren't quite accurate. They kind of dramatized a few things. But overall, it, it was pretty good. I mean, it's a real cool movie. I like to pop this in and watch it maybe like once a year. But, uh, but if you have a chance, check this out if you didn't already see it. Now, there, there's a lot of uh, movies that were made about Houdini. I mean, tons of them. I think Paul Michael Glazer played Houdini. You know, uh, Starsky from Starsky and Hutch. And Sally Struthers, I think, played Bess, the wife. And, I mean, there's tons of them. I mean, uh, maybe 20 different Houdini movies throughout the years. But we're going to... Here's something that can apply to Houdini. All right? Now, if I was to get these cards here, and I could show you they're all different. All right? We could even give them a shuffle. All right, and I'll shuffle them again. And like I said, nobody's really here today, but I'm going to just go through and say stop anywhere I want to. I'll say stop right here. Look at this card, please. All right, and we'll replace it. Now, what I have here <clears throat> is a piece of chalk. And I have an iPad from 1902. <laughs> these are chalk slates. Kids used to use these in different schoolhouses. Okay, I mean, very, very old, very strong, very sturdy. Now, we're going to get this piece of chalk and place it inside like so. And we'll ask, Houdini, will you tell me what the selected card was, please? I think he's here. Let's look. Oh, look at this. Upon turning it around, it says the Nine of Clubs. So there was a miracle today. And once again, that's a, that's a great idea of applying magic to movies all right and i'm going to do one more quick one here and like i said this, i mean you could you could find any movie i mean for kids you could pick the little mermaid you could you could scary ones you could pick the exorcist that would be wild if you're going to do a really spooky adult show here's the phantom of the opera all right this is vhs all right <laughs> nobody really has vhs nowadays but uh this is this is the cool movie here that came out let's see this was uh 2004 it, it was almost like a musical. Well, I guess it was a musical. The original movie was 1925 with Lon Chaney. And wow, he was fantastic. Remember his nose was up? and uh, <laughs> he, did, he did a really good job. But you know what? Read the book, the classic uh, by Gustave Leroux. It's much more detailed, all right? But the family opera, there was always a rose involved. If you remember, Christine found a rose at different locations and so forth. It was actually, was actually kind of cool. All right, this is, this is a red rose, and we're just going to drop this down inside like so. And upon pulling it out, look at this. It changes to a yellow rose. And we're going to push this down inside like so. All right. And when you pull it back out, oh, my goodness, look at this. It changes to, I guess that's a peach-colored rose. And as you can see, the tube really is empty. So that's another adaptation. All right, we'll put it back in here. But like I said, you can adapt movie magic to anything. A lot of different movies. If you're a magician or you're an aspiring magician, use your imagination, guys. Build your own stuff. I mean, I actually, I actually built this version here. You know, I built the uh, 14 Ghosts. So use your imagination. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.